told me I did not upset work Mama 17, I spent color t-shirt white Mama told me I did not upset work Mama 17, I say color t-shirt Yeah, nigga We made the commitment to be at the spa castle on all of the equinoxes and solstices. And so we're inviting you. Do you want to come with us Friday, September 22nd to the spa castle for a day long deluge in deliciousness? I just decided to keep yes. the D's. <laughs> keep the D's, baby. It's a Friday, so you have to take off of work. I work for myself, so I'm giving myself permission to take off. We'll talk more about this at our next Soul Sister Series event on August 13th. But we want you all to come out with us and share with us the fall equinox and what that means. So, June 21st was the summer solstice. And it was the longest, it is the longest, longest day. day. December 21st is the winter solstice. And it is the shortest day. And so I keep on telling her that we should make sure that we have a spa castle day on the solstices the solstice. and the equinoxes four times a year. I think we've gotten to three. But I think 2017, 2018, we're going to roll for four. So, do you know the spa castle? I mean, we'll put a link. Yeah. Maybe. And some pictures. The spa castle. Did I take you to the spa castle first? Or you knew yeah. about it before I took I you? knew about it for a long time, but I couldn't believe it. Because I was just like, what are you talking about? My One of my coworkers told me about it. I was just like, a place where you can go and like hang out in the spa and eat. And drink. And drink. And and I was just like, I don't believe this what is what you're talking about, this fairy tale place. I don't understand. So, my very good friend who I worked with, Marvin Gruska, who lived in um, Japan for many years. He's a black guy and he was a teacher. We were really good friends. Um, one day, one, you know, while we were teaching one year, we had a day off for something. And he was like, Khalila, we should go to Spa Castle. And I was like, I don't know what that is, but I like a massage. So let's go. And so we, I drove at the time, so we drove to the spot Castle in Queens, and Castle is, is correct. It is a humongous building. And so I went in, and you separate men and women. So you got to pay, like, the fee to get in. It's like $40, $30, whatever. You got to pay the fee to get in. And once you get in, you have access to... So saunas. With, right. And just with the entry pools. fee, you have access to the saunas, yeah. to the pools. Pools. The indoor pool, the outdoor pool, the single sex bath, shower area. Right. The many different like, you know, cold rooms, rooms. and yeah. hot rooms and, and like many places to areas, sleep to sleeping areas, the temperature yes. specific relaxation rooms. There's an outdoor pool. There's a gym. There's a lot. So you pay $40 to get that, right? And then you can pay an extra fee to get other services. But the, the thing about Spa Castle, which um, Marvin didn't tell me my first time, is like when you get into your locker room on your female side and your male side, there are a set of pools. I think this is on the male side too, but I don't know, right? Because I've never been with a man other than Marvin. Right. I gotta I ask think so. more about the male I so. side. I don't care about the male side. I, I kind of I want to ask questions. <laughs> So, on the female side, there are these pools of different degrees. Hot, hotter, hotter, hottest. <laughs> and goddamn. Freezing cold. <laughs> <laughs> goddamn, goddamn. <laughs> and some saunas, too, like the dry and the wet sauna. Um, but you've got to be naked to go in. Yeah, oh, he didn't tell you that? No, he didn't tell me. My Did I tell you the first time you came? I think I made everybody, when he didn't tell me, I made sure I everybody. I that you told me, because I didn't feel like I was stupid. shocked. That was stupid of me. Back. And so, so that's downstairs, and you're naked, and you luxuriate, and then, listen, when you go, do the $100 body the scrub, yeah, that scrub happens in the naked area. Listen, 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 Linda, <laughs> listen, listen, these little... Korean I had women. forgotten. It's I been a forgot. while for me. The I last time we like, went was the winter woo! solstice. Yeah. 
that scrub. It it has it includes everything. It's the I mean, like first of all, there's the scrub. The scrub. Which you Ouch! Don't scrub. It hurts everywhere. I mean, not <laughs> Like she, like, like she scrubs you like she gave birth to you. And yes. She you everything that you had. That's exactly how you feel. It's just like, like she was your mama and she gave birth to you. Ain't nothing you got that she can't touch. Yep. She, I mean, and they be scrubbing. Like if this your feet, they be scrubbing. They be, they like, they be scrubbing. Everywhere in That's, your thighs. You can't see how shiny I am. That's part of the scrub. That's the scrub. <laughs> After you scrub, oh, yeah, they send like, you to the sauna. Right, 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 right. You in go between, to the sauna. You go to the sauna. After she scrubs you. After she scrubs you. Like real, real good. And intermittently douses you with, with like warm, warm water, water. Which at first is just like, <gasps> ah! And then it becomes like, ah. <laughs> then you get a two minute break and you go to the sauna. Good time to pee if you have to pee. You go to the sauna. Then when you come back from the sauna, like if you thought the scrub was like, if you thought that was good, then you get this cucumber facial. That I don't know if it's real cucumbers. It feels, it just, like, real it feels cucumbers. like real cucumbers. Your it smells froze. like real cucumbers. You put the towel over your face. It smells so good. And then there's like a massage, like a face massage. With just oh, the before cucumber. the no, before, before the, the cucumbers, cucumbers they just you get like a, a face like a, massage. Like they start like like she's like rubbing you like like you're getting a Face yeah. massage. Like, when's the last time your face got massaged? After that, you get the full body massage and treatment. Yes, because the hair That's washing is last. Yeah. The hair washing is Yeah. Last. They wash your hair. And I know black girls, you're like, what? Oh, I get my hair washed. Wash Every it. Every time boom. I have an opportunity to have somebody, like, massage and, like, wash my hair. And I have, again, I forgot. I was just like, oh, shit. I remember now. I'm going to get my hair washed. I'm going to get a facial. I'm going to get a massage. I'm going to get, like, Listen, pressure points, like, Can I tell you with this massage? Stimulated. With this massage, they don't play no games. They massage everywhere. You know, Yo. like, European massages that you go to a regular spa, they be like, long strokes and shit. You know, Koreans don't play. They be like, no, let, let me get up in, like, let me get up in. And the tension all up you in there. The, the more tension you have, the, the more it hurts. But as it hurts, it's being worked out. So you just after the full body, your feet, your toes, your ankles, your th like after your like she didn't get walked on, but they always walk on me. They yeah, always I, walk. I on opened me. my eye for a second and I saw her on. I was just like, oh shit! They always, pretty always pretty takes a get on my back the because bitches, she got on my back the first time. Oh, uh, they she always got on walk my back. on me. Walk. I mean, it's not. It don't hurt. It doesn't hurt. It feel great. When you see it, you're like, oh, but it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. And then after that, you lay on your back, and she asks you, do you want your hair washed? And I'm like, yes, yes, <laughs> let me go this out for you. And, you know, you don't ever lay down and get your hair washed. Like, you laying down, and she washes your hair, and she's scrubbing, and she's... And then, because my hair's a little long, she's like, oh, your hair's so long, she's washing it like this and shit. Like, she's washing clothes. I'm like, go ahead, bitch, go ahead. And then they come with the, um, the milk. Yeah. Then they, they 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 tell you to put the milk the milk on your on face. Your yeah, face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, all right, put the milk on your face, and then it's done. And then Shower. for days afterwards, your skin is just like super soft. There's like no because I looked up like maybe the first time you sit up. And you see all the oh, dirt. Oh, you went back with and you be all like, the You'd be like, Mommy, I took a bath this like, morning. I took a shower this morning <laughs> and I used my Lufa glove. I used it. I used it. I used it. I promise I did. But that's not what your skin said. No. Nope. Your skin said, No. Ooh, nasty girl. Yeah. You nasty. That's <laughs> one thing. And then there's all these pools where um, Zenzel and I would just sit in the pool and talk for a few hours. You just sit. Um in the pools down in the naked area. And then we went upstairs to the we, Yeah, we went we, to to the rooftop because we were both exhausted and we were like if we go to sleep after the scrub the sun will go down and we will miss right. the pool so we wanted to get the optimal time for being on the rooftop at 12 to 4 in the sun yeah so we went on the rooftop and then they have you know outdoor pools and oh we got in the jacuzzi for the first time yeah, yeah. then they, they have like a they have indoor pools next to the bar mm -hmm. and then outdoor pools far from the bar and we stayed out there for a little bit and then I couldn't take it no more. I went downstairs to go to sleep I was like I'll meet you downstairs <laughs> oh before we did any of that we ate breakfast yeah that's the waffles. first that's the first thing that we did was we ate breakfast because um, we were both really hungry and then I went downstairs and I don't know I slept 
Because that's what you do. Yeah. I stayed on the rooftop for a little bit just because it was so nice that day. Yeah, and I just was. wanted to feel it the was. breeze and the sun and the was. water. It and was. Then I went downstairs and then fell asleep. I fell asleep and then you wake up and then you eat again. Because, I mean, that's what spot That's is what you for. do. You go, you it's eat. It's literally. You, you go to luxuriate. You just go. They have the, oh, we haven't done that in a while, but they have like color therapy rooms yes. too. They have like, um, they have the, the big heated sauna over in the corner that we right. haven't gone to in a yeah, while. Yeah, big. That like, should be hot. Yeah, it's, it's very hot. You in there for like five minutes. You'd be like, all right, I can't do that. I can't that breathe. <laughs> I want to sleep outside. I don't want to sleep in here. Um, and then we went back to the wet pools before we left. Um, but we were talking about just how important it is and how rejuvenating it is to have days like this. Like to say that I'm going to spend this day um, luxuriating. I'm going to spend this day relaxing. I'm going to spend this day... And it's also... Right, really important. Like, I know that I brought my phone the last time, but this time, ideally... And you see more, because we didn't used to go to the rooftop, like you see people with their phones and stuff, but we don't bring our phones. No. And the great thing about the Spot Castle experience is that it allows you to put all your stuff away. Yeah. All you have is the uniform and your, and your bathing suit and your little watch where you get to just, you know, charge stuff and forget how much you bought <laughs> until they <laughs> check you out. Hang out. But, you know, it, it works because you're just kind of like free of you know, carrying things around or, you you're, know, having your clothes. You just, you know. You're free to relax. Yeah. Yeah, you're and I love that. Relax. That's a part of it that I really, really like. You kind of just forget about the outside world for those few hours and just, you know. Just relax. Yeah. And um, kids are there, and I always tell people I never am bothered by the kids. Teenagers, kids, old people. It's like intergenerational. Everyone goes yeah. there. And I'm never bothered because I'm just like, first of all, I love the fact that little black and brown kids go to the spa yeah. castle and spend the day at a spa yeah. hanging out with, with their, their families. families. Yeah. I, I just think that that's the best. We spent like $200. Like that's the entrance fee. That's, yeah. that's all the scrubbing and rubbing and treatment. loving. Yeah. And food, food and, drinks. and drinks. It was $200. We spent like eight hours. Um, and I was just like, if we went four times a year, that's just, just around like $65 a month. I spend, I, I might spend $65 on food this week. And thinking about um, why is it that we don't prioritize our self-care? And like, I've been so stressed. I have, hadn't been sleeping. I had all these deadlines. And going to the spa castle that one day just relaxed It makes a difference. It just got me like remembering what I love, what's important. It was great just to be with Zen and just talking. We ain't, we ain't got shit. We ain't got no deadlines. Ain't nothing crazy. We bought our books. You it's, read a book yeah. for a little bit. You relax. You know, like I made us go home. Because <laughs> we would have just, I would've we would have ate one more time. Home. Like it was literally 8.30 when I was like, quarter to nine. I was like, we gotta go home. And this podcast was 24 hours. So you know. You can get caught. Yeah. Um, but this idea of taking care of yourself and slowing down and, um, you know, the beauty treatments, like taking care of your skin and just relaxing is really important. How we choose to do that and how we put our money towards it. Because yeah. we don't like buy all these products in the world. We'll do all this other shit. But we won't slow down. But, like I ain't got shit to do but relax. Just relax. Go to sleep. Just have eat. You know, sleep. Have Drink a smoothie. Go into the color Go therapy swim. Store. Go into the um LED, the red light. Yes, oh, get so red private, lights like, on, on you and face. be like, hey. And bring a girlfriend and talk shit and just be like, we're just gonna be here. So yeah, I, I think we'll plan a solstice series, spa castle day for the winter solstice. That would be incredible. To I don't go, see... and you want to take day off though. So go ahead, start from now. <laughs> Let me see what day December twenty first is. Or or get sick that day. You ain't got to do it in advance. You know how your job works. So that's our self care tip. Spa castle or any place, any Korean spa that allows you to luxuriate for a whole day. Now I think there are some black ones. I'm gonna look into that, but. Anywhere where you can go for the whole day and relax and eat and drink and be merry, do it. Yeah. Four times a year. Yep. 
winter solstice, summer solstice, um, fall equinox, spring equinox. Do it. Connect with Mother Nature and get it done. <laughs> so I hope you come to join us August 13th when we're going to talk about ritual and intimacy. And it will be our third and final Soul Sister Series Spirit of Intimacy event. Now we will have more events. We wanted to spend this summer really digging into the Spirit, spirit of, of Intimacy. intimacy. Something blooming, a memoir of divination seeds to cultivate your feminine garden and temple. Let me tell you something. This is a weird book. <laughs> okay? No, I have to tell you that. I love weird. It's not like it's not it, it's not like this. <laughs> it's not like this. <laughs> it is, it is different um and i like to say that it is so let me read it right the author right i am a highly feminine woman unfixed in my femininity bending weaving waddling diving leaping spreading spraying dripping with femininity courageously shape-shifting into a serpent a pharaoh, a goddess of love, a warm and transformative ocean, a fairy with wings, passion fruit, Oshun's daughter, a seven-year-old mathematician, a wood nymph, a deer, an altar, an elder, a person, a mother, a jackhammer, a herbalist, glitter and starlight, ageless, timeless, spaceless, formless, embodiments of royal movement. Sometimes it's growing my ass, thickening my fingers or rounding out my face, heightening my youth to get the medicine inside because anything that stagnates dies. I haven't read it. You've read it. You see, I have ordered it. You see I can't all wait to my get outlines. It. I am so excited by that description. So this is not for the faint of heart and it is not for the church girl. It is not for anyone who are, is caught up in Ooh. respectability politics. Oh, no or caught up in having a framework of femininity or black femininity or womanhood that uh, fits in a box. So this is our full book to take us in, not for the faint of heart, but um, in September, this is what we'll be reading. You look like something blooming and we invite you to come out with us in September, October, and November as we dig through this text. Soul Sister Series, in pursuit of a pleasure-filled life, though shit keeps on happening.